Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Um, this time a sniffly kooky corner because I appear to have the most horrific head cold at the moment. Uh, nevertheless, we shall move forward uh, knocking over some sequins and things. <laughs> so what I have in mind for this last little make of the year is this little dangling star. It's a double-sided star, so it has, obviously, on one side, it's that nice dark tealy colour. And on the other side, we have a nice, like, icy blue colour. And basically, all you need to do with this is to uh, find a six-pointed star uh, template, which are really easy to come from, come upon, should I say, on the internet. Um, find yourself a nice um, pattern for a six pointer star and then decorate it um, according to how you would like it. I wanted to go really simple with like a snowflake pattern on mine because it's a six pointed star and snowflakes have six sides. Then I um, cut out of my, I've got some pure wool felt in these two colours which is over here, I'll just go at it. When you look at my very messy desk. So this is my wall felt. This is from Cloudcraft, who are a fabulous business who uh, deal in pure wall felt. And if you want to make something that's going to last for an amount of time, then pure wall felt is where you need to be going. Um, because it's beautiful to sew, it's going to last you a long time, if not a lifetime and um, you get something beautiful at the end and I think if you're putting in effort to create something you should always give the, the, the base materials, make the base materials the best possible uh, that you can afford. Obviously if you've got like a wool blend that will also work really nicely but I really like the feel of wool felt and I like how it looks and it just looks crisp and nice. So yes, what I did with this, I, uh, I've got my template here um, and I cut it out, put it on some cardboard, it's on a piece of an old Amazon box I think there, um, marked out where I wanted um, my sewing to go so it came in just equilateral, um, it's like equilateral triangles but it's like lines going across and then from the middle I wanted a little bit of something there as well. Once I had got my drawing down, um, I used an awl just to mark out where the holes were so that I could then mark this onto my felt because trying to uh, figure it all out onto your felt is going to be the hardest part of this. Um, so yeah, if, I, if you just push an awl through where you want the lines to go, then you can join up the dots basically. And these I freehanded on to my piece. And then what I did was, um, obviously the lines were a, um, a back stitch on, on each of the lines going down here. Um, I used a silver thread for a back stitch of the other little star that's going on in the middle there. Back stitch silver. And then um, obviously the little the little lines of the snowflake going up, they were in a silver as well. The, the silver that I use is this. It is um, a DMC, let me see if I can straighten that out. You probably can't see that. It's a DMC Diamante, it's very shiny. It's DMC Diamante Grande or something like that. <laughs> it's not Ariana Grande, it's 
by Montegron and it is in the number is G415 and it's kind of a, a silver so that's what I did uh, the middle and the, the little uh, ends of my snowflake with then I obviously need to add in some glitz to my piece where regular viewers will know that I am a magpie so um, you cannot have a piece from me <laughs> very rarely have a piece of me that doesn't have some form of glittering thing going on um, so I've got these iridescent sequins which I thought would go with any color you know and they would pick up the colors of the felt and um, and then just to go in the middle of those I've got some iridescent seed beads uh, these I've had for such a long time I think they're good to man ones and there's a number there if you can try and track that down you are very <laughs> welcome to try and get the exact same ones also uh, I don't think there's anything on there apart from a barcode but no so those and the sequins and then on each of the points of my snowflake I have attached uh, an iridescent bead and an iridescent sequin and also on the little one as well did the same again and on the other side I've worked in an alternate colour for the the lines of my star still gone for silver in the middle well, I've got a little bit of thread attachment there silver in the middle and silver for the uh, the little snowflake ends and then around the edge you'll probably be able to see it better on the darker side i've done a blanket stitch a blanket stitch all around the edge of the star hold it together the middle has got some uh, wadding and some stuffing in it to give it some depth you could do it flat if you wanted to do a flat one you could put some uh, card in the middle to keep it um to keep its shape uh but i i kind of like the poofiness of this little star could alternatively be a pin cushion if you wanted it to be. Um, I always think of alternate uses for things. This star wants to escape. And then a little piece of that lovely silver thread just to finish it off. And it's nice to give away as a gift as well. You could give this away as a gift to someone. Lovely view of my messy desk there. Pretty little star. And this is me wishing you, because today is um, the winter solstice, so I'm wishing you a happy winter solstice and also a very happy Christmas or happy whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I will be back in the new year with lots more things, hopefully I won't be as croaky and as snuffly when I come back, uh, <laughs> but it will be nice to see you here also. Um, I'm going to line up a few different things for us to do for the new year, so please do uh, like and subscribe and uh, have a look back through my back catalogue and see if there's anything there that you've enjoyed. And do leave me a message if there's something specific 